This is chapter three in your applied pharmacology book, talking about practical calculations in pharmacology. So we need to know math. Um, we need to understand the systems of measurement. We need to know how to perform conversions while using the metric system and other systems of measurement. We need to perform dosage calculations and explain, we uh, are gonna understand how percent concentrations are prepared. Some key terms are equivalent weight, which is one gram of molecular weight from the, your periodic chart. So think of, you know, hydrogen, helium, um, carbon, uh, those molecular weights, and it's divided by the total positive valence of the material. So when we talk about an equivalent weight, we're trying to make these molecular weights or these molecules relatively equal when we're talking about uh, uh, molecules within a, um, a substance. A milliequivalent is one one thousandth of, of equivalent weight, and this is the term used to express the concentration of electrolytes in a solution. So when we're talking about, um, uh, say, sodium chloride, um, we're going to talk, uh, going to say um, that it has a, a certain milli, like 19 milliequivalents, um, based on uh, how much sodium is in there versus how much water or how much chloride. You do need to understand what fractions and decimals are. So if I say 0.5, that's a decimal, and you should understand that means one over two or half, okay? Um, that's a fundamental, that's a background to, to understanding percent, ratio, and proportion of items, and you really need to understand this before you start to do some practice problems. There are practice problems in this chapter. Chapter three review is all practice problems. It does take a little bit of time to go through, but the, the more you do it, the more comfortable you'll be able to become with it. Um, Percent is defined as parts per 100. So it is a fraction. 5% um, is 5 over 100. Um, we could also write it as 0 0.05. Um, so we need to remember that uh, about percent. So here's another example. As a decimal, 0.3%, um, 3 tenths of a percent divided by uh, 100. Um, uh, the uh, fraction of one over five percent is one fifth of a percent. So one fifth divided by 100 as a whole number, we can write five percent, five divided by 100. Percent can be changed to those fractions or decimals. So 5%, 5 percent, five over 100 is one over 20. So five divided by 100 to get the one over 20. 5 goes into 120 times. We can change it to a decimal. 5% is 5 over 100 is 0.05. A ratio is a way of expressing the relationship of a number, quantity, substance, or degree between two components. If we are seeing a ratio, and uh, usually there's a colon separating it, so the numbers are placed side by side, and it's one to five. So there's one person uh, with blonde hair and five people with black hair, then we have a one to five ratio. This is, can also be set up as a fraction, fraction, meaning one fifth of the people in this class has blonde hair. Um, that means four fifths have black hair. Okay, so that's how we think about ratios. They're, they're fractions. When we're talking about measurement, the first step in successful calculation of doses is to make sure you understand the units of measure. I can't uh, just, I need to flog this into you. Units, 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 units. You have to pay attention to the units. The only time you're not going to pay attention to the units as much is if you have a formula that has something that converts units. And we'll talk about a CRI formula that has a, a constant in there that will automatically convert units to you. Otherwise, you need to pay very close attention to the units. What unit do I want 
to here in the answer and how do you get from one unit to another unit as you're going through the math problem. There are three different units that we talk about in veterinary medicine or in any pharmacology, um, and they have three different systems. Now, it would be great if the United States would go completely to the metric system, but I don't see that happening. Um, if it did, we would only have one or two systems. Um, so we have the metric system, which is like milligrams, kilograms, milliliters, etc. We have apothecary system, which measure th measures things in, in um, like grains. Um, and then we have the household system. So think cups, ounces, tablespoons. There are conversions uh, between the metric, the apothecary, and the household system. And those conversions are found in the back of your book. Um, there, it's either in the back or the front of your book. We can also find them when we have a, a formulary, a drug formulary that has all the dosages in it. That will have a conversion as well. You can also look those conversions up online. All three systems are um, expressed in fundamental units of weight, volume, and length. Most of the time, we're going to be using the metric system. Um, and so we're talking about with weight, gram, with volume, liter, and with length, meter. A gram is abbreviated with a G or a GM. Liter is abbreviated with an L. And a meter is abbreviated with an M. The units that are most commonly used in dosage calculations are the gram, the kilogram, and the milligram. Occasionally we'll see microgram, which is one one hundredth of one hundred thousandth of a liter. So very, very small. For practical purposes, we can say that one mil equals one cc cubic centimeter. It's another um, unit of volume, measure of volume equals one gram. So one mil equals one gram. One cc equals one gram. For each step up the stairs, so if we're going from the, this is the base, the gram, okay? Um, so sorry, microgram is one millionth of a um, gram, okay? So we, if, for each uh, step up, we're going to divide um, the amount by 10 and each step down, we're going to multiply by 10. So if I want to take gram to microgram, how many grams are in a microgram? Um, or how many micrograms, sorry, are in a gram? I'm going down the steps. Okay, how many micrograms are in a gram? I'm going to d multiply by 10. So I have 1 gram times 10 is 10 times 10 is 100, times 10 is 1,000, times 10 is 10,000, times 10 is 100,000, times 10 is a million, okay? If I want to say how many grams are in a kilogram, or how many kilograms are in a gram, okay, the other way, divide by 10. So if I have 100 grams, divide by 10, I'm going to have 10 grams, divide by 10, I'm going to have 1 gram. Divide by 10, I'm going to have 0.1 grams. So 0 0.1, uh, or 0.1 kilograms. 0.1 kilograms in a gram. Okay, so I've gone up 3, that's 1,000. I got, go down 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, that's a million. Okay. The quantity of the drug to be delivered to a patient is called the dose. So one time, that amount is a dose. The dosage rate is expressed in milligrams per kilogram, milligrams per kilogram or milligrams per pound, and is multiplied by the animal's weight in kilograms or pounds to determine the dose. So we have a dosage rate. Um, so say we, are, we want to give a dose to an animal. The dosage rate is 30 mg per pound. The animal is 10 pounds, so we have 30 migs per pound, we want to multiply it by 10 pounds. So what is the dose in milligrams for this animal? 300 milligrams is the dose this animal is going to get at this time. Now, that's great. But what if the dose that we're giving, the medication we're giving is a liquid? 
let's say the liquid is 2 milligrams per mil. There are 2 milligrams of the medication in every milliliter that we give. That's the concentration. If we need to give something in milliliters, or as a, as, um, we need to know how much to give the patient. So 2 migs per mil, we're going to divide the 300 by, by 2 migs per mil. I'm running out of room. If you remember how to cancel things out in um, algebra, you're going to cancel out the milligrams because they're opposite. And we're going to make this 100, that's a 1, 150. Okay, 300 divided by 2 would be 150 milliliters. Okay. If we had a, it was a pill, this is another concentration, and the pill was 150 milligram per tablet or per pill. That's a concentration too. Then we would be giving two tablets. Okay? So it is dose, dosage rate times weight divided by concentration. So animal's weight, dosage rate, concentration of the drug. So really a uh, simple way to um, calculate those dosages. You do need to understand how to convert things. Um, I do want you to go through all of your problems, all of them, uh, because each time you do it, it's going to get easier. And if you have questions, let's go over those in class.